Again, a really warm welcome. It's Michael, Michael Beal, NLP trainer, NLP coach, trainer, and stakeholder center coach. Time and timeline. Uh, again, something that I think is unique within NLP that is very useful for us to explore. Two or three thoughts on time. The first one is that I can put forward the argument there is only now. The future is a mental construct, the past is a memory, and most of the past is a mental construct because we don't remember what really happened. We remember whatever got through our filters at that particular time. So I can argue that present is what it's important to focus on because it's what's happening now. The next thing about time I find fascinating from a planning point of view, if we want to go for big change, if we're looking for dramatic, dynamic, exciting change for the future, always go to the future first, go to what you want to achieve and plan backwards. All sorts of reasons for that. If you want to go for small incremental change, start from the present and work forwards. If you want to go for big change, think of what you want and work backwards. As far as NLP and time timeline techniques, something that is worth remembering. Anything that's happened in the past, any of our experiences, and by that I mean it can be a good experience, it's something that we can use, we can actually move forward for a resource to use in the future. I mean, even what we may think initially is a bad memory, we can take the learnings from that memory, leave the feelings behind, take the learnings from them, that memory and use that too in the future. So to some extent, all experiences we have, we can make use of in the future. Timeline itself is a very, very useful exercise in, in all sorts of planning um, and a number of elements of reframing where we want to maybe change some memories or make some memories more empowering. Thank you.